I'm going to show you how to animate um, your sticker. So I ended up having this copy one done and what we're going to do is create some new things or perhaps create some movement and then take it over into Photoshop and then you can animate the GIF. Um, so like I said in class, GIFs are something that are fun to use. You can make them for apps. Your client might want one on their website. They're handy little things to have. So first thing is open up your sticker illustration. And then second thing is in Photoshop, open a new file. File new. And I made mine 4x4 with a 300 DPI. Okay, that's how big mine is. And then you just want to make sure you've got your layers open, which we do. And in Photoshop, you're also going to want to have the Windows Timeline feature open. That'll be down here on the bottom. And that's how we're going to what we're going to use to animate, which is fun. All right, so in Illustrator, I've got the cup itself grouped because it's not going to change. Nothing with that is going to change. So a suggestion I would have for you to make this easier is like ungroup the stuff you're preparing to move and group everything else together. So if you're going to have like an arm waving, you know, group everything and lock everything except for that part. Or if you're, something's going to flash or change like that. Um, I'm going to use the blob brush here and my plan was to just make some um, mist like, you know, from the coffee. I think maybe I better make it like sort of tannish. I don't know. And here we go. So I've got my little blob brush going. And I had to reset mine. So the um, properties had changed back where it wasn't pressure sensitive. So I don't know if after you open and close, you might have to go back and change that again. I don't know. I'll just have to see. So I've got one little smoke there. Looks kind of like poop coming out of the coffee cup. So now I have some little babies here. Make them um, transparent. So that they look a little bit more like smoke, I guess. You could maybe even like create a few more. I'm gonna control Z that. I'm gonna lock this guy here because I don't want him moving. And then I don't know for sure if you have to like have everything in the window. I don't think it matters, but I'm gonna do that. And I'm deleting the other stickers that I'm not working with at this point. And lock that. Okay, so shrink it on the page a bit. What happened was I resized it and didn't resize the other things. So let me back up. Okay, hide all the things you don't want people to see yet. So this the, the concept here is the progression of empty cup, then coffee and cup, then steam coming out. Yay. Um, okay, so I take this. And I control C to copy it. And then I control V to paste it. Okay, it's in there. And then you don't want to move it yet. Just leave it where it is. Back to Illustrator. Turn on the next thing that you want people to see. Grab it all. Control C to copy it. Control V to paste it. There we are. And up in there. Go here. We're going to turn on a couple pieces of steam. Control C to copy. Control V to paste. Don't worry about it being off for right now. Okay, I got a few more. Control C to copy. Control V to paste. Four or five layers. I'm going to select them all and I'm going to use that move tool to move them all down and then I'll have all my smoke. Now I could take a minute and kind of nudge these around so they line up. One of my layers is a little off and I can tell that. 
but now it's time to animate this. So we're going to open up the timeline. And down here, so I've got all my frames. I can't remember if I need to have them selected or not, so I'm going to do it just in case. And we're going to go to Create Video Timeline. But instead of it being Create Video Timeline, it needs to be Create Frame Animation. So you choose Frame Animation. And then you actually have to click the words for some reason. It's not very... So they are all selected. Create frame animation. Create, make frame from layers. Okay, that's what I did. Yay, you can fiddle with that a lot, but that's basically how you do it. And then when you're all done, you go ahead and save the file. You want to save this like actual Photoshop file, okay, on your computer. But then you also want to save for web. I know is what I've done in the past. <clears throat> okay, it's a GIF. Do, do, do. Preview. So that's what it's going to look like. Save. Okay, let's see if it worked. not as good as some of my students. Like, look at this one. <laughs> That's not the right one. This is the one I wanted to show you. Watch. Look at the eyes blink. Isn't that so cool? And I'm not sure where Josh's went. Oh, here it is. Just love it.